things are going great, then all of a sudden something happens. Tyler Perry would meet with them, give them money, have them sign a no clause agreement stating that they will not speak about him. Tyler Perry would have clearly wanted this information to stay hidden from the public eye, but it seems like his time to expose had finally come. Out of nowhere, a new bombshell was dropped right on his head with allegations swirling around his alleged involvement in industry's DL rituals. As insiders claim, one very suggesting footage that features several notable personalities, Perry included, has been circulating in the entertainment industry. The six stories of industry bigwigs participating in DL freak-offs and filming them have been swirling for a while now, but no one expected the famous producer to be exposed like this. Let him make the decision when he wants to come out, really. As it turns out, Hollywood is the place for prominent figures to satisfy their most disturbing needs. And as we've learned recently, it's like everyone partakes in these activities. In 2015, Tyler was already sued for allowing Essay right within the walls of his studio. And it seems like ever since, he kept a low profile, being afraid of the possible backlash when he skeletons would finally leave the closet. But here's the thing. It gave start to me to movement in the entertainment industry, and more people began coming forward with sickening claims against the movie giants. In February 2016, Terry Crews, the Brooklyn Nine-Nine star, filed a similar lawsuit against WME agent Adam Bennett, claiming that the later groped him at a Hollywood party. But it was just a start of the power decline in Tinseltown. Tweeted out what happened. I came home and I said, hey, honey. Hollywood's over. In the aftermath of the allegations, a staggering number of influential figures from Hollywood, the media and politics, both men and women, have been accused of similar misdeeds. Some of them were even trying to pay off the victims, like the convicted Harvey Weinstein. Cruz later revealed that everyone in the industry seems to be a part of this essay club. I've been involved in some of the most competitive, toxic environments you could probably ever be in. I mean, it's really bad. These claims shed light on a well-known alleged ritual within the industry, allegedly practiced by prominent figures, and the Brooklyn Nine-Nine star went on to add more names to the mix, painting a rather sad narrative of what's happening behind the closed doors. What they do affects every part of the business, from producers, writers, mm -hmm. actors. When Terry mentioned involvement of big executives in such exploitative actions and their Hollywood friends covering for them, it became clear that there's a whole crew of individuals involved in the processes. Currently, there's speculation that Tyler Perry is among those at the top of this list. As Terry wrote in his tweet, there are a whole generation of black women and men who don't think it's funny. Criminal protect criminals, but they mock survivors as well. When you see me, keep it moving. Apparently, it's time to be vocal about the darker aspects of the film industry, particularly the manipulation and mistreatment black actors experience from powerful figures. According to other witnesses, people often subject themselves to public humiliation in pursuit of fame and fortune, and that's especially true for black talents. You only have a few shots at success. While you may think that Tyler Perry has undeniably made a significant impact on the entertainment industry and an advocate for the black excellence, well, his name is at the top of horrible allegations swirling about unwanted deal activities. Perry's journey has not been without controversy, with questions rising whether Tyler is actually trying to help black community. In the fiercely competitive world of Hollywood, making it big often requires questionable and rather ugly tactics and schemes. And it seems Tyler Perry has mastered this art better than anyone else. So it's almost as if you don't have a choice. Stand where God wants you to. Well, it looks like Tyler may be soon left without any talent willing to work with him. As you know, news in Tinseltown travel fast, and it's been said that after the explosive video featuring Tyler's casting techniques, a lot of male actors refused to work with this man. Perry himself expressed concern about young actors turning down his proposal. Unfortunately, with this film, I went to a bunch of up and coming young artists who were getting a lot of attention and I asked them about doing the role. They read the script, they loved the script, but I think there was a reservation or hesitation about working with me in particular on this film. Despite being the industry titan, Perry's portrayal in inner circles is far from being a saint, which eventually led to people's speculation that this man is full of S, both as a professional and a person. And you wouldn't want to run to, into either one of them in a dark alley late at night, because... And when digging deeper in Tyler Perry's history of rising to the top of stardom, fans begin to notice that his way to the top was based not on hard work, but rather on controversies and scandals. As one person commented, Tyler, the door has been open since your first play. Please come out the closet. It's 2024. And another user added, many people in power, doesn't matter what industry you're in, will take advantage of others because they can't. Every black actor and actress in Hollywood, regardless of their fame or talent, encountered the same experiences as Terry and other victims. The industry bigwigs treat them worse than dirt. In addition, offering worse than dirt. In addition, offering roles that are borderline insulting for the entire black community. And Tyler Perry's movies are not exception. This man proudly states to know what his audience wants from his writing. 
Mm -hmm. I've been working with this audience to cultivate him for 25 years, yeah. so I know what they want. The observation of characters in Tyler Perry's movies often raises questions about his choices and what kind of narrative he wants to push onto the actors. His movies, including Acrimony, which stars Tara G.P. Henson, often generate discussions and debates on social media platforms. Critics basically destroyed the production, and the film got rather low ratings than expected from a renowned movie giant. Some viewers criticized Perry for repeatedly portraying the trauma that black women experience at the hands of men in his films. As one of the critics wrote, two hours of lazy filmmaking and tired, harmful stereotypes against women. But here's the thing. It looks like Perry is a known woman hater because surprise, surprise, it's alleged that he prefers male company. Recently, his former friend Walter Lee Hampton claimed that Perry was in the past, but has since chosen not to be part of the Ledge Q community anymore, citing concerns about the financial impact on his media portrayal if he openly admitted his DL side. They don't want nobody to know. Tyler Perry pays off millions. However, these are merely allegations, and Tyler himself has never publicly declared his orientation. However, he was romantically linked to a black actor, Tyler Lepley, who had to refute rumors about his romance with the movie mogul. When asked about the rumors during the podcast, Lepley promptly dismissed them, attributing the association to his appearance on a Tyler Perry show and being seen around Perry. I was seen around him, and all of a sudden, he's rubbing off on me, and people felt like I was DLL or something like that. The actor claimed, though he knows Perry personally, his influence hasn't affected his own orientation. Lepley, a series regular on the show P-Valley, suggested that his association with Perry might have fueled the rumors. So you never really know, you know, anytime you give the world something new, if it's going to be re uh, received the right way. Apparently, being close to Tyler Perry is now perceived in a DL light. And here's the thing. Alil is known about this man's personal life. He and his alleged his longtime girlfriend broke up in 2020 after 13 years together. The two claimed to remain friends while co-parenting their eight-year-old son. Perry announced the breakup on his social media, writing this is what a midlife crisis looks like. I'm 51, single, and wondering what the next chapter of my life will look like. But according to many... Tyler had no interest in dating women. Also, many people were questioning his iconic character, Media, and why Tyler still, after so many years, keeps wearing a dress. If you start connecting the dots, Maida was the one who brought this man fame and money. As you probably heard that when black male entertainers sell their souls, they embrace cross-dressing in their careers. Put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career. I'd be connecting them down like, wow, these brothers gotta wear a dress. Despite Perry's claims to be done with this emasculating character quite soon, his latest book, Don't Make a Black Woman Take Off Her Earrings, which secured a spot on the prestigious New York Times bestsellers list, still features Tyler in a dress. This continuous success prompts a question. What motivates people like Perry to engage in actions that seemingly challenge traditional masculinity, if not their secret DL side? As many people say, it's all obvious with Tyler Perry, and he must come clean before his shady secrets are exposed. As one person commented, I hope so, and I also hope the industry is shut down. Leading people astray is a no, no. I can't stand Hollywood movies or actors or the culture any longer. And another user added, it's time to clean house. We have young adults whom are becoming actors and actresses. We do not need them to become victims. It's certainly not the first time Tyler Perry's life and choices have been under a microscope and probably some of his shady dealing will eventually be exposed. But folks, what do you think about Tyler and his connection to the industry's elite? Is he one of those who secretly was parting with Diddy? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.